Oh, good morning, Turtle Club. It is I, Maddox Synchro, with Turtle Turtle Gaming, and this is Flashback Friday. Um, this is a new-ish stream series. A um, couple things, right? Lots of things going on. We've been gone for a bit. Uh, that's largely due to just a whole lot of life. Uh, more life than we've ever had thrown at us at once uh, at the moment. Um, we are going to be cutting today's stream a little short. Normally on Fridays we stream for two hours. Today we're streaming only for one, sadly. Uh, that is due to the fact that Digrat is uh, not feeling well. And at 8 o'clock I got to help her get some things taken care of. So that all said, we wanted to get... Um, we wanted to get playing a couple of games here and with her not feeling well there's been a few things that I've been doing actually one of those is laundry I will be right back here for a second um, wow I did not think that all the way through way way back in the day we used to have our wireless headset which will let us continue talking while we were by our you know while getting up and doing things like moving clothes I will be right back in about two minutes, guys. We're going to cut off at the wrong time. Sorry about that, Turtle Club. It just took a few seconds there. Uh, that does bring up something interesting, though. People keep asking occasionally that, hey, Mag, you and Dick Rath been married for, well, since 2002. What's the secret? And that's part of the secret, is helping each other out. It really is. Um, I, I, I know all sorts of different relationships out there, all sorts of different ways that people handle things like marriage and dating and all that and uh, the way we do works for us and I found that just treating the other person the way you hope they treat you goes a long way uh, so all that said I know this game is probably not familiar to wow I'd say a good portion of most of the people that watch this channel at this point um, quite honestly that's going to be due to the fact that we haven't streamed this game in a very, very, uh, very long time. One of the things that we did way back in the day was we tried to play this game. It's amazing, by the way. It's a it's a rhythm game. It is a I wouldn't exactly call it a B money game, but it, it's it's very much in the same genre of B money, and it is also a roguelike, meaning that every time you go through, every time you try to go into various different levels and what have you, it's going to be different. You're going to go in, you're going to be expecting like one route, one pathway, one type of enemy, and that's going to be just not what you find. However, you may notice a couple things that are different. Um, if anyone's played Cadence of Hyrule, this game's gonna look very somewhat similar. Art style, beats, you know, music, we got all these kind of things that really kind of put forward the the ambiance of it. And we're gonna start off with zone one to kind of warm up, but I'll show you here. You'll notice the character I am is moving along with the little dash lines. It's because if I try to if I try to move outside of the dash I get a miss and it's because I'm not on the beat and the way the game works is when you move toward an enemy or toward 
a wall, it winds up hitting or attacking or trying to dig out what you're up against. Now, this has usually been kind of difficult for us to stream for a couple reasons. One, putting all of the upload, download, music encoding, video encoding all on our main computer also meant that, well, it also meant that we had a bit of an issue with the, the timing of the computer. And we weren't able to even do this because a couple milliseconds, most games, they're very forgiving for that. Only very, very strict rhythm games and fighting games tend to begrudge you a frame or two. Uh, this game is one of those. So now that we're actually loading everything onto a second computer for streaming reasons, we have a better option of this. So we're going to go into Zone 1 and chill out with the music. Uh, it's, it's a little more upbeat, up-tempo than what people might be expecting. But it's got some really awesome stuff. So we're going to go in and do it. So the first thing you want to do is... Will not do what we're doing. Hey, back and do. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. So the music here, as you can notice, it's got its own tempo. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Oh, love that guy. Alright, so we're at 22. Um, we could probably go for the defense. So we want to keep the beat going up because it gives us a coin multiplier as long as we're staying on the rhythm. Man, those skeletons. Still give me trouble. So it's basically an exploration game. Move, jiggle. There we go. We're already taking way too many hits. All right, you'll notice our dagger we switched out. And let's just hit more. Gain, shovel, bigger levels. Oh. Interesting. Slow, strong, multiplier based dig. We're gonna go with this. Oh, there's our boss. Why do we have the wide swing? But boy, howdy, are we really. Not doing good, and we hear the music slowing down. That's an indication that we're about to be out of this zone. This is not good. We're about to go through a trap door. Good morning, Keo. And there we go. We're hoping to get to the shop to heal, but oh well. We're probably dead in this level. Super smart. We don't want to hit the enemy piece there. A 
was hoping the secret passage was there. Oh well. Boom, 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 boom. Player base light, interesting. I'm having pink eye. Oh, uh, conjunctivitis is no bueno. Um, it's not anything that I want anyone to ever have to really experience in their life. get the next level ah uh, we managed to go through like two levels and not have hmm. oh thank you chicken We got some good, really good upgrades. Yeah. Multiplier light. We gotta get that multiplier back up. Uh, that plus damage doing this a lot of good. Lots of good. We want the damage. Oh yeah, if it is, you absolutely want medication, Kyo. Alright, alright, here we go. Exit stairs unlocked. We managed to take out the Minotaur. Ah! No! Oh no. Alright. Well, yellow skeleton got us. And, yeah, that's, that's a yellow skeleton, right? So, since we're restarting, we start all the way back on the first floor. Same music. One thing that you probably couldn't tell, guys, is that the rhythm 
also change. Kill the heal, low health equals extra damage. Yeah, we, we like healing. We also really enjoy anything that gives us extra range. Uh, conjunctivitis is super contagious. And it's really one of the big reasons why it's such a big problem. Storing health because of our spear. And we killed the dragon without it ever touching us. This is actually going to be probably a real good run because of the spear we got early on. Yep, conjunctivitis, more commonly known as pink eye, super contagious. Oh. Oh, we have a blue key need. Oh, win items if you're lucky. Grab some extra defense though. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Oh, shopkeeper. But we've spent all the money, unfortunately. Um, so, a long time ago when I was very young and absolutely had very bad health insurance, I also got conjunctivitis and I went to work. And my boss said, Mag, you don't look good. What's wrong? I said, well, the doctor said it's conjunctivitis. And I didn't know what, you know, he said, you got conjunctivitis, Mag. I said, okay, cool, wh whatever, right? And so I went to work. And my boss said, if you got your junctivitis, you aren't staying here. And that was it. I mean, that was seriously the end of it. Um, it's that contagious. It can spread throughout a whole entire office. Super fast. Alright. This is the this is the level we got to last time. Alright. Whatever is big, bad, and ugly around here, knows we're here. Oh! Ouch, we got burninated. We got burninated by a red dragon. Those things are probably the worst to fight. Um, honestly, if you go up to a red dragon and don't have any good ranged weapons, I feel like we just throw things at them. Let's see if we have anything for purchase here. Oh. Nope. Nothing from the Dungeon Master. I don't. Um, nothing from these guys. Yeah, he sent me home. Uh, he, I said, well, I don't have the time off for it. He said, don't worry about it. Uh, we, we'd much rather have you healthy. Hello. And so, but that was my supervisor, right? My supervisor was a decent guy. Yeah, real old dude. Well, let me rephrase that. When I was 17 years old, <laughs> and I had my supervisor, uh, double damage. Yeah, we'll, we'll take double damage. Um, he was like in his half 
ha halfway to 50. You know, he's like 45, 46, something like that. Um, and he was retired military. Oh, that's right. Hi. Training weapons. They're not too bad. Hello. Training its enemies from various zones. Yeah, we won't be able to do that. Let's go back. We can we can start in zone three and see how we do. Actually, hold up, we were still in zone one. We have made a grave error in judgment. We forgot what zone we were in. We are going to wipe out super, super early. Super early wipeout. Back to lobby. Let's uh, let's be smart again. Go back to zone one instead. Do, 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 do. We were in zone one, level three, not zone three. Stealthy. I need to see what that weapon does. High damage after gold pickup? Nah, we'll keep up the dagger for now. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, I, I would I would say it's going to be your best bet, is checking to see if you're okay with that. Most companies don't want you spreading something highly contagious to all the other employees. At, at the very least. Now, I'm not saying that companies are always in it for the money. Um, but, let's be reasonable. A lot of companies like money. Oh, I could so get some money here, speaking of which. Surround yourself with solid gold walls. You'd be surprised at how many people decide to actually come after you that way, right? Green dragons are pretty easy. These things here basically act like the booze from Mario. Ah, uh, see, now that adds a whole other wrinkle to it. You know, overtime is a big deal. Give blood, get blood weapon. I don't think we can do that though, can we? Oh, we, okay. Let's 
says two more kills, and I think we get to heal. We got the exit. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it, it hurt. I, I won't lie. But... But we have a sword now that heals us every every 10 kills. And it's a spear, so it's got some better range. So we're okay. See, we're starting to get his hit points back, and it's super important. I really need a secret room with, like, a lot of really easy to kill things. But, you know, we're doing alright so far. Well... Oh. I hear the music. Let the music take you guys. It means it's the shopkeeper. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Armor. All right, we're doing good. So got wrecked. Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we can take this guy with one hit point left. Oh my gosh. All right, all the bosses have a pattern. This guy's got multiple music. Ah, ah, made it all the way to the boss. All the way to the boss. All right, well. That's not a good start either. We had some pretty good uh, loot. We had some pretty good loot. Oh, bombs? In the secret room? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I thought it'd be a good try. Lose items, gain health. Nope. We're good. Oh, there's one of our favorite things. Broadsword. Oh, 
boom, boom, boom. Oh, Green Dragon wiped us out that time. Wow. Okay. Um. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. We already got the exit stairs. Let's just take them. Hey, we're starting right off the shop. Ooh. Let's see all enemies. I can go for that. And you know what? It's a bargain because we can get all of it. All that we care about. So all the red dots on the map are all the enemies. Find better items? Oh yeah. This is probably the run we're looking for. This rapier's pretty good. Ouch. Looks like there's only two more enemies left, or actually one more enemy. Ah, uh, yeah, we're just gonna take it. We're just gonna take it. Oh, look at this. That was a lot. Hey, Shadow! I'm not sure if I like this sword better than a rapier, actually. I think I'm gonna go back for the rapier. I'd rather see all the enemies and get moved when I get hit. Yeah, this rapier has a ch um, has its habit of hitting first. It looks like. Oh, oh, dragon. I was I I saw it coming, and there was like nothing I could do about it. Oh my gosh, red dragon is just 
Baking my biscuits. Mmm. I could have busted out to the left, and then it would have forced me to the, the skeleton anyways. Oh my gosh. Alright, that was a good run though. You know, I play games like this, and there's one that's out called Hades. It's a roguelike as well. And it's rather good from what I've seen. I watched a couple people play it. Uh, gives you what you need. I uh, don't know if I trust that. It sounds very sketch. Oh yeah, I know. It, it was great. It was good loot setup too. Sing it, shopkeeper. All right, let's see what we need. Um, I don't know if I trust that as being what I wanted, but. Or what I needed, rather, I guess. Oh, it's... You know, it's got range to it. We'll, we'll take the range. not argue with range at all. Oh, right by the shopkeeper again? Oh my gosh. Uh... I don't want to exactly go for the, but it seems like the best bot is the, the healing weapon. No, no, we're running all the way back for extra range. Forget this. Uh, you know, I don't want to do this, but I kind of want to. We haven't done an all stream yet. And we got about two more runs left. If you damage the shopkeeper with the bomb, he'll come after you. It's kind of like a little nod to the Zelda games. Speaking of Zelda, Skyward Sword HD finally come in the Switch. I am looking forward to it for a lot of reasons. Um, there are some people that aren't as excited about it, though. Because, so, here, here's the thing, right? Many of you probably know, especially if you guys listened to a stream about a month ago, that I was born left-handed. Alright, I do a lot of things right-handed. Uh, I've been playing this game today, using both. It's arrow key base, so it's not a huge deal. But if I need to, like, cough or something like that, I got my little cough button. And I just reach out to that whatever's handy as far as my hands go. But as a left-handed person, um, a lot of people were super stoked when... Whoa. That's a lot. Three empty heart containers. Two empty heart containers. Okay, we do that. Hold our second weapon. Alright. Extra heart containers. Yeah, we'll just buy all that. But a lot of people were super excited that... Link was going to be this um, motion controlled character. A lot of people that are left handed were because Link had been left handed since like the dawn of the Legend of Zelda games. And lo and behold, whoa! Consumes torches on walls? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's not good. Oh my gosh. Oh, we just got... Ugh. 
But people were super excited, right? Here comes Link, the left-handed hero, going through, blocking everything with his right, attacking everything with his left, and we're finally getting this uh, thing that happens, right? And Twilight Princess comes out. It's the first game to introduce motion controls because it was simul released on GameCube and on Wii. And there is a lot of people that were perplexed because Link was on the Wii was a righty. On GameCube, he was left-handed. And they explained it was because the way the game got fully mirrored. And a lot of people took that as, oh, okay, cool. We get that. When we go and play the next Link game, you know, the last, next Zelda game that has Link as the main character, um, we'll be back to being left-handed. And, oh. That was almost problematic. <laughs> so, a lot of people were super happy that Skyward Sword was also going to be motion control based because they thought, all right, we're going to have a left-handed version of this. And Nintendo went with what, I hate to say it this way, but it was the obvious design choice to keep Link as a right-handed person for motion controls because at the end of the day, you want to make sure that the most amount of people can play your game. You know, it's, it's reasons why certain games don't do as well as we would like them to do. Um, you cut out a population, they tend to be very sad about that. Um, sure, empty heart container this early. Oh, in our blood rep here? Yeah, we'll do that. So, when Skyward Sword came out, a lot of left-handed players felt like they were just not handled right. And I get that, you know, as a as a ambidextrous individual, not by choice, but by circumstance. I get that. I get wanting to be able to play with your dominant side of your body. And you know, it was kind of unfortunate. Um that it just happened to be the way it was. Yeah, we went to plus two torch. But, you know, at the same time, Nintendo's got to make money. Uh, so, it's... It's very, very unfortunate how it happened when Skyward Sword was new. But here comes the remake, right? HD remaster of Skyward Sword. And we got this really, really cool mechanic coming into it that simply is... Requires sacrifice? Uh... I don't think we had a sacrifice. Oh well. Oh. It would have contemplated getting one. Uh, switch. Oh, switch console theme? Ah, uh, you know, I get that. Okay, the whole stage shook. Teleport on hit, restore health, helps with some terrain. All right, we're gonna get us some. We're gonna get some chicken. We're gonna get us teleport on hit. We're gonna get us some boots. This charisma ring we get, which gives us super cheap shop prices, doing some work. Look, we teleported. Got hit. Went right out of the shop. means if the dragon hits us, we we'll go all the way back to the store. Maybe we can survive the dragon this time. You know, a lot of the stuff that's on Switch is great looking. Um, and helps with some terrain, helps with traps. Oh, we want the trap one. Aha, we can step on traps, nobody cares. All 
All right, so we're pretty. Oh, oh yeah. All right, we got the exit stairs unlocked. Time to go in there. Oh, we lost our teleport. The crown only works once. Oh, that's not even good. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, deep blues. Okay, the chest dude. Um. We got some pretty good hit points. We got a well. Let's just use the heal right now. Um, all right. And that's the boss. Uh, Deep Blues, you fight all the chess pieces. And they all have their own moves, they all have their own maneuvers. But when you gotta help uh, tactical superiority with self-healing sword and all the other things we got, you just kinda go in and he doesn't care. Dad was always coming and going on his adventures. But this time he seemed more excited. Oh, thanks for the GG. He said he'd found it, some great treasure. When I was older, I found the notes he left behind. Directions to a graveyard. Look at this guy's Uncle Eli hand drawn stuff. Me. But Dad had been gone for two years. I had to find him. Always looks good. Um, but digital drawn stuff like this, not too bad either. Alright. So, we, we went through level one finally. Um, zone one. Now we can go to zone two. The thing with this, though, is we got three... Uh, diamonds. So we want to see if there's anything else that we can get for our diamonds. Hey. Uh, Ephesus doesn't have anything for us. Alright, what about Merlin? I don't think we had anything for three from Merlin either. So, the permanent stuff, we're kind of out of luck. It's one of the reasons why I've been using quick continue, because if we only had three, okay. it's like, eh, okay. Uh, white attack and vision radius though, to start with. We absolutely can get into this. All right. Zone two. Turtle just rolled right by us, took it out too. Alright, we have already beat the boss in the first floor. Oh, here's the shop. Oh, wow. Um, okay. We'll take cheese, we'll take a spear. We already have the torch. We're doing really, really good at this point. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh there's a there's a blue box somewhere. So I feel like we at least need to try to explore for that. Alright, there's the blue chest. Boots of Pain. Oh. I don't even know what we got for those boots for. Oh. Pain, it says. So we can kick. 
and do damage, it looks like. Interesting. This is going downhill a little bit, though. Oh, is that a gun? Oh, that's a gun. Um... Yeah, I don't think we've ever had a gun in this game. Okay. I... I like the idea of shooting everything in front of me. Uh, in a game like this, that just sounds insane. Wow, you have to reload it. Uh, that's a problem somewhat. But let me tell you, it's not that much of a problem. Oh, I'm I'm digging this. I can reload as an action. And if they get close to me, I can kick them for pain boots. Oh, this is great. Yeah, there's this there's, there's a shotgun. Um I don't think... It doesn't seem to be as overpowered as one would think that a shotgun would be. But, let me tell ya. It, uh... It doesn't seem to care. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is, this is crazy. Uh, it does have a small minor issue though. Uh, the reload does take a time. Um, it does have a good range. T Mac, oh, oh, dude, thank you, thank you, T Mac. That is, I I appreciate that, man. Guys, get a hashtag T Mac music going on in the chat for that. Wow, guys, if you don't know who T Mac music is, he is a published performer. Uh, with music on several different services out there. You can catch him streaming live when he goes into our rooms uh, and goes live there. Uh, real chill, real laid back music. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for that, man. Um, had, had me taken aback a bit. Um, we had, look at that loadout. Look at this loadout. Oh my gosh. It's like... I, I'm still flummoxed with the gun thing, though. The gun thing just kind of got me going. Wow. Absolutely check his stuff out, guys. It is worth it. You will never be... Remove items from the non-all-zoned items pool. Wait. 
Wow. Uh... Interesting. So you can like customize the drops. Uh, Diamond Dealer will let us start with chicken or with defense. We'll go for defense. This will be our last run for the stream, guys. We're going to go... Because we're silly, uh, we're going to go zone 3. We're going to give this a shot. Even though we clearly have, like, no business being in here. As evidenced by that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Maybe we can actually start getting some items. Oh, horizontal fire, that'll work. Wow, and we have no money to buy anything. Yeah, this guy was nice enough to donate to our cause a little bit though. I would love to have that spear. So we have to kill something enough to get the money before. Multiplier based. Alright, we have just enough. Now it's just a race. There we go. Got her spear. Got her spear. That's what I'm talking about. One and a half hearts. We finally have a spear that's a stab things. Uh, I don't think we had an option there. I don't think we had an option there. Man, it's been fun to get this game back um, and download it and install it again. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. It does work with Steam Save, which is a free service that Steam offers to let you store your games in the cloud. Oh, Keo! Oh my gosh. Here's the number. Oh, Turtle Club, you guys are just. I. That. Keo, thank you, man. Guys, we, we really appreciate everything you do for us here at Convertible Turtle. Our sponsors, you guys are amazing. And our supporters, um, you, you guys have made this possible. And it is, it's one of the reasons why I still stream, to be honest, you know? I mean, this thing started forever ago, right? Back in, uh, well... 2017 is when we started doing this and it's just you know it's been a full four years and a couple of days and it started off as just a way for me to get a social group um, I started with some other people and we've since parted ways and those guys still stream I still stream but the original intent the original purpose we've moved so far beyond it it's all because of you guys I really appreciate everything that you do um, if it's from subscribing to smashing the like button to just chilling, hanging out and talking, um, there are things planned and they are planned and they are being worked on. I assure you, Total Club. Um, and we are slowly, slowly picking away at it. Mr. Troll, before you started streaming, still remember the. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Oh, Keo, you know, um. We all have interesting sense of humor, you know? 
Uh, and to, to be fair, sometimes the people you hang around with have a lot to do with how you behave. I, I'm not excusing myself for it. I'm just, I'm just pointing out that that's that's one of the reasons why I was doing this. Right? It was was to get friends, was to make friends, and sometimes we do really stupid things for people to hang out with us, and that's one of the reasons why this channel is family friendly. It is very inclusive. We do not go out of our way to, you know hurt other people and it's because we, we want people to be able to come in we want people to be able to make friends we want them to enjoy themselves and we want them to be able to be themselves you know be who they the best person they can be um the turtle club it is late i got to help out dig that with some stuff and i'm going to have myself a good night i am um you know it's it's been a it, oh, oh yeah it was you know looking back um, I feel bad for for teasing you like that but it, it was it was a pretty good joke it was a pretty good joke um, but yeah turtle club I I might have myself a good night in a little bit I might have um, about an hour to get some things good for digger at cook her some food that kind of thing. Uh, but I will talk to you guys later. Um, you all have a good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner. Whatever you're about to do, Turtle Club, have a good one. Stay safe, wash your hands, and thanks for watching, guys. Take care.